Video game. Video game. This is the Kong of the Donkey. Yeah. It's, it's a game where where you do a monkey thing and then you kill a genre. Yeah. This is the game that killed the 3D platformer, for those who don't know. It killed a genre. Yeah. One could say it killed every genre. Its impact on the industry was so fierce. I want... I think it's pretty neat. I like this game. I did a Let's Play of it a few years ago. I did a Let's Play of this over a decade ago, and it was terrible. Hey, <laughs> I was like 14. Was hey, my Let's Play was probably terrible, too. Maybe. We'll see for sure. Did you know in this game you play as Donkey Kong? Who is also like... in the title of the game? <laughs> no. That's... Why? It's funny to think that actually wasn't a given, though, considering, like, only one of the two, the three Donkey Kong Country games actually lets you play as Donkey Kong. It's actually true. I remember reading somewhere, though, that in early development of 3 that it was going to be Dixie and Donkey Kong. I don't know how true that is. From what I remember hearing, it was like... Oh no. Oh no. But yeah, from what I remember hearing, it was like... Donkey Kong was supposed to be in the second game, but like... In addition to Diddy and Dixie. I don't remember why they like changed it. I don't think it was development issues. I think I heard somewhere it had something to do with, like, Miyamoto's hatred for Donkey Kong Country, but I don't know how true that is. Maybe. That would have been cool, though, having three Kongs playable and you just, like, switch between the three at some point. And then in Tropical Freeze, you know, you can't use the original iconic duo of Diddy and Dixie Kong. Yeah. Isn't that so? At sad? least not in like a first not playthrough. Game, I think you like... can in like a yeah as an unlockable for getting completion. Yeah, I want to do that with you whenever you move in. Maybe. Yeah. I play as Diddy, or you play as Dixie, or I play as Dixie, and you play as Diddy. I don't know, I just like Diddy and Dixie. Oh no, they said the hell word. So scandalous. You know, I swear I remember walnuts, this person peanuts, saying... Walnuts, peanuts, peanuts, walnuts, peanuts, walnuts, peanuts, peanuts, walnuts, peanuts, peanuts, walnuts, peanuts, 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 I swear I remember this version saying heck of a guy as a kid, but I don't know if I'm just, like, mistaking it with the Smash Bros. version. Yeah, the Smash version was the one that had heck in it and was also uh, bad because they... They made it, like... They tried to make it normal, and this song was always a joke. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, uh, if you can't tell from the frame rate and, like, this demo not being broken, this is on actual hardware. On original hardware. Yeah. You know, when I was in high school, people told me I should sell my original hardware. We're, we're playing it on the, the real Nintendo box because yeah, there's a bit of a smell. I do not want to know what pineapple smells like because yeah, I worry allergy. that just smelling it might fucking kill me. <laughs> um... But yeah, we're, we're playing this on the real Nintendo box because uh, piracy is immoral and illegal and wrong. E. Um. By the way, this game does have a 16x9 mode. We're not going to be using that because um, it's not implemented super well and uh, this game already runs like shit normally. <laughs> we want to have it be as playable as possible. Yeah. 
Uh, let me make sure I have all my cheats disabled first, actually. Yeah, okay. Also, where's... I like this cheat existing when the only way you can get it is to not have a use for it anymore. <laughs> Might as well turn it on, then. Nah. Uh, you know what? Let's do that just so I don't have to, like, go scrounging later if I run out. E. Uh, how do I how do I turn it on again? Z. Oh, okay. I mean, I mean Z. Sorry, Z. Uh, it, it's Z because we're America people. <laughs> Z. I mean, Shay even pronounces it like Z, and hey, it's neat. But yeah, Shay hey, Shay even pronounces it like Z, and like officially Canada pronounces it Z. Z sounds cooler though. I mean, it does, yeah, but you know, I'd rather. I'd rather not associate with America, which is the worst country in what's the this, land. What's this file even got on that? Yo, six percent. It's got Diddy, Dixie, and Diddy. <laughs> Dixie's not even in this yeah, game. Yeah, uh, th this isn't the new cartridge, by the way. This is just like I deleted all my old files at one point. Yo, Sponge Game. I want to play Battle for Bikini Bottom again someday. I should play Battle for Bikini Bottom sometime. Yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think. Actually, when did I hear like first hear about the Zed thing? The first time I heard Zed was when I was watching Cipher on sixty four. I remember thinking it was weird oh, yeah. that like some lines in like Jamdarge's Jamdarge's like things and Tui didn't rhyme properly if pronounced the way we pronounce it, but. What was the first time I heard about Zed? And then one time I heard about I want, Zed. When I want to. I want to say I was like eleven or thirteen, somewhere there's about. I heard about Zed when I was visiting Michigan for uh, the oh, first time. Oh, you know what? I th I think it might have been like. I made that up. I think, I, I think it actually was something related to Rare, technically. Because, um... I believe how I found out about it was I saw, like, an old video on, like, one of the old Ultimate Play the Games games for the ZX Spectrum. And, you know, me being a dumb idiot burger child, I didn't realize it was supposed to be pronounced like that so i just said like z x and thought it was weird when he pronounced it like that i mean i did the I same like, thing oh. as well when i first saw it yeah i was like zx spectrum that doesn't flow well though zx spectrum flows way better yeah anyway monkey monkey I'm gonna watch the whole intro. Wait. So I started Funny Kangaroo Game Round 2 today? Yeah. Um. Even though yeah. I hate kangaroos with a burning passion? Actually, since I did bring up, like, Spectrum stuff, I. I think it's interesting I, like, had trouble, like, getting out of the mindset of that, because, like,. Nowadays, like, probably my favorite YouTuber is some person who basically just... Most of her videos are just, like, talking about weird old games for the specky, as she calls it. I should watch her again. Yeah. Um, if, like if you don't know who I'm talking about, it's uh, Kim Justice. For anyone in the... Yeah. She makes some pretty good videos. Yeah. So, like, f find, like, the stupidest, shittiest looking game imaginable for, like, one of these old computers and somehow manage to get, like, a whole, like, 30 minutes to an hour long video out of it. That sounds like something I And do. it's actually, like, genuinely good and genuinely interesting. Yeah. Oh, 
Commodore Amiga. Yeah. One thing I do find interesting, though, is, like, apparently even in countries where, like, at least English-speaking countries, where Z is pronounced Z, uh, they still pronounce Dragon Ball Z like Dragon Ball Z. Yeah. Was it? Was it pronounced Dragon Ball Z in Japan, even? Or was it no, Z I'm, Japan? I'm pretty sure in Japan it was Z. Or Zeto. Yeah. Remember that one time that one person was all like, I learned it was actually supposed to be called, I learned today that Dragon Wait Ball Z was supposed to be called Dragon Ball 2. I'm just realizing my capture card's not getting audio. Let me check uh, properties. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god. god. Okay. okay. Um. That's the there we go. Oh god, that... That must have sounded really fucking weird, because, um, it was apparently detecting audio from my mic. Oh no. Which I already have a source from my mic that's delayed because capture card delay. E. Uh, sorry for that if, if that is indeed how it turned out. Anyway, I was gonna say, you remember that one time, like, in, like, Griff's server, like, I'm not gonna say who it was, but, like, they, like, they told us, like, how, like, they just learned that day that, like, you know, Dragon Ball Z was actually called Dragon Ball 2, and I'm just like, whoever told you that's full of shit. <laughs> yeah. And they're all, like, most, it's all, Most like, gullible person alive. Really most gullible person alive. I can't I, tell you that. <laughs> I, I don't want to, like, shit talk them. Because, like, you know, they are actually, like, a good person, and yeah, I enjoy I... their company. Yeah. But also, sometimes they post stuff like that, and it's really funny. Yeah, that's true. I just, you know, sometimes fact checks. I, I, I remember, like, I remember a while back, like, when the Queen died, I just said as a joke, oh yeah, she died, like, a while ago, and they actually, like, bought it, and I, was, I didn't have the heart to say it. I was just joking. No, Because I didn't, I truly did not mean to fool them. Um, but that's just how it happened, and then, like, the, remember, like, the usual suspect came in, and I was like, uh, well, how, how dare you make joke about evil fascist colonialists dying? <laughs> How dare you? Didn't you, you know she was she was so young? She had so much duty to play. I don't give a shit, man. But no, no, and I she's British. I like, she's not a person. Anyway, let's let's continue playing this epic British video game. That's true. But like another thing I remember was like you know I was I'd like you know because like Dragon Ball Z was never a manga and the manga was always just called Dragon. Ball. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, I wish Twitch had, like, a functionality to, like, let people change the video quality on anything that wasn't, like, a... What are desktop they called? Like, computer? No, not on desktop, because you can do it on mobile. Um, <sighs> but it's, like, if you don't have, like, affiliate or partner, people can't do that to your stream for some fucking reason. Oh, that's dumb. Everyone, get Jody to 50 followers so she can, uh... So she can. I would do the Basha heart emoji, but. Uh, but I don't. Yo, know. it's Darren. Uh, I'm not How's it going? Much. Real talk, I would probably get more followers if I actually streamed to the retro category people look through, as opposed to the fucking Donkey Kong 64 category, but oh well. I'm pretty sure people look at Donkey Kong 64. Yo! We got ourselves a spam bot, hell yeah. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'm a report them now, if that's okay with you. Yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> I'm gonna report them for spam, scams, and other things. Is it spam? I'm gonna say so bot. fucking fast. Is a bot. Alright, what was that like twenty like nineteen minutes in even? Bot. Banned, banned, you're all banned. None of you are free from sin. Where's the- here it is, the dolphin. 
I love this guy. I never knew that was there. Oh my god. He's my friend. I know he He's was there specifically too. because people like back in the day kept trying to say, "Oh yeah, that's a that's a Easter egg referencing the GameCube," and like I don't know, maybe it is. Maybe it's just a cool dolphin. I never knew that was there until now. Maybe you just want to have a dolphin in there. You know, maybe I just want to have yeah. a picture of a dolphin. I'm gonna do that. Yeah. I'm gonna get a picture frame of a dolphin, and I'm gonna put it up in the living room. I, I love. I, I, I love. I love dolphins. They're my friends. They're my friends too, except when they try to have murder. Yeah, I'm totally gonna do that. Did you know that dolphins, when they get really sad, they'll I'm... stop breathing to die? I actually don't remember what I named the... What's the dolphin Pokemon called in the new Pokemon games? Uh, Finizen and... Uh... Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to remember. What did I name that one that Pussy I got? Gucky. Oh yeah, duh. It's Finizen and Palafin. Yeah. I like Palafin, it's really cute. Yeah, they're my friend. I love them. I'm so glad there's finally a dolphin Pokemon. Are, are you talking about the person who, like, pretended Banjo was a real person they were friends with, or the person who, like, yeah. That, that, that one was good, but I'm also thinking of, like, the one, the one person who came in, like, when I was in Grunty Industries and kept, like, trying to do this, like, well, first they came in, like, Hey, I got some fun facts for you. If you're a, a big fan of Banjo Kazooie, I, I want you to guess them. And I'm like, no. can can you not? And then they did it anyway. And I'm like, I I really don't want to have to do this. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, why did they do that? I'm the number one Banjo fan. God. In this furnace, fun is not accepted jokes. <laughs> <Bottles burning. laughs> Guys, I, I got a question for you. Uh, who is a shaman? Uh, Mumbo Jumbo, Jimbo Jambo, or Humba Wumba? Uh, damn. Jimbo Jambo. Wrong. Oh, who is it, Dan? I'm not gonna ever get this right. <laughs> <laughs> Humba Wumba is a Shaw woman. Wow. All right, now we're gonna Humba we're gonna take really... on the greatest challenges of men. I remember being really disappointed as a kid. I could not ever redo these challenges. Why? <laughs> no. Oh yeah, I remember like swimming throwing me off like crazy when I first played I'm... this game because it's, the controls are. Well, actually, no. Um. In reverse order, actually, swimming actually threw me off when I first played Banjo because I played this one first. Um, I but I remember that having, like, I remember having that happen because, like, the controls are a little different in this one. Like, you press Z to submerge. Yeah, the first. So it's actually a, like this game shares a lot of like little inputs with Banjo, but they're like. A little bit different, like they're different. Or sorry, it shares moves, but they're different inputs. Did you know if you? Do you know if you blow yourself up, you die? Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> he claimed he did anyway. Um, I don't know if he actually did. And. We kind of deduced that he was a bit of a compulsive liar because he kept saying like, "Oh yeah, I played every, uh, I played, I played every banjo game to completion, including different versions." And like, someone looked at his Xbox profile and found that he hadn't even beaten Furnace Fun in the Xbox version of Kazooie. Even I beat Furnace Fun on the Xbox version of Kazooie thrice. But I don't have an Xbox right now, so can't. Maybe I'll get an Xbox if I get that bonus in June. I mean, you could also just play it on Xenia. It works, like, flawlessly on that. True. 
But what if I just want to sit in the living room and play on the Xbox? Oh yeah, yeah. Che, you told me about the <laughs> to two Luigi incident. What's the two Luigi incident? Uh, Chitu Luigi was... Well, I think he pronounced it Chitu Luigi because that's how everyone, like, thinks Chitu Lu is supposed to be pronounced. Um, but he was just the guy who, like, faked his death for no reason and said he, like, got hit by a driver or something, like, while he was trying to go get Wii points to buy Mega Man 9, as Shay said in that comment. <laughs> oh, dang. <laughs> what a way to go out. That's how I want to die. <laughs> you know what the problem with that, though, is? You'd have to die. No, there's no more Wii points. Oh, no! <laughs> also, Mega Man 9 sucks. You had to go to Cranky first. Oh, right. Also, I don't actually have anything I can get in there anyway, so... Why did George Wood cost cost one thousand Wii points? But no, Mega Man Nine also sucks. Like, I I think, I think my favorite quote from that video is actually just I'm one of those white mages, not like one of them black mages you hear so much about, or however that went. Yeah. To be fair with the Mega Man series, I tend to like. I really only like the first three games in 7. I don't know, I'd have to replay more of them, but I remember liking 4 at least. I felt like 4 was, you know, just too much of the same. What's the thesis? Uh, Green Naruto is a child predator. I should continue my Mega Man marathon at some point though and get on to 5 and 6. And I can play seven. And I gotta play uh, eight. You know, Green Naruto from the hit series. Uh, I can't think I never, of a funny name for it. I've never played Blue Naruto before. No, Green Naruto. I didn't know there was a green one now. That's pretty freaking way. Yeah, it's from the hit anime series, uh, Boku no Pico Academia. Oh god, Boku no Pico. Alright, uh, Nate, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna delete this comment and also ban you from my chat. How, how dare you- how dare you bring such filth into this server. Yeah. <laughs> that one too. <laughs> Did I tell you about my- my former roommate's obsession with Boku no Pico? Are we sure he wasn't, like, a pedophile? I'm almost certain he was. In fact, you know, he, he probably was. Yeah. Alright, just gonna have to delete that comment, right? I can't delete the comment? What the don't, don't actually, like, keep deleting that. Jeez. Yeah, I remember, like, looking up my old YouTube username and finding out it was like apparently the name of a porn site too, and being like, oh, okay. That's funny. <laughs> it also apparently was like the name of some like skate video website. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I want to learn to skate at some point. Do you think I should buy like a checkered skirt and like a cool like... But, like... Well, I would say buy yeah. a made outfit, but you own one already. I owned seven. Oh. Of course. I should not have underestimated you. E, you should buy a main outfit. But if not, All right. just borrow let's, let's switch to one of our pals. I like question mark the best. <laughs> Here's our pal, Donkey Kong. I like Donkey Kong. But you know which Donkey Kong I like the best? Also, I like this warp, which links like... It's like two seconds away. <laughs> yeah. As a kid, I'm like, I gotta swim all the way out to that save the, island. Gotta save the five seconds. Remember, as a kid, I was like, I gotta swim all the way out to that fucking island, and now I'm just like, <laughs> that island's like five seconds, like a two second swim. That's fun. Fun fact about that old username, by the way. Um, 
The original name was just Greenhog, and that's because when I was a small child, I was very into Sonic the Hedgehog fan games, and my first ever internet username was that because one of the people I made had a like their name on the internet was basically just Blue Hog, and they made a bunch of really dog shit Sonic fan games. But for some reason, child me was into them because I mean I was a child and hadn't really seen anything like that before. I thought remember it was neat. That, remember that time we played SRB two rush? Yeah. Cart? Yeah. We should do that again. Maybe. I like the racing game. It's very racing. Yeah, that Amy fan game was actually how I discovered a band that eventually became one of my favorites, Five Iron Frenzy. And it looks like Brayden's posting Cause like, retweeting a bunch of Miku art right now. Yeah. That means I'm gonna retweet a bunch of Miku art because <laughs> Miku good. K.Lumzy. I wonder if that's an actual domain. K.Lumzy.com Also, I love this nonsense bullshit here. <laughs> he stomps on a fucking platform entirely, like, resting on the water, somehow causes an earthquake that breaks a very specific rock in one part of the world. Oh yeah, Donkey Kong's never gonna speak again in the entire rest of the game, by the way. Yeah, Donkey Kong now dies. All of the yeah. all of the Kongs have exactly two lines of dialogue in the entire game. Yeah. Donkey Kong has like the one line going out of Cranky's for the first time, and then that one line talking to Kalumze. Yeah. And then the other ones just have one for when you find them in the level and one for when you free them. You know, one thing I wanna say yeah. about this game is I Oddly, feel like a lot of Donkey Kong's missions feel like your thoughts compared to the other four characters. As weird as that may sound. I never really got an impression, but let's see how things shake out. And maybe it's just because I'm like, oh cool, I got all these other characters I can play as. Hey Justin, how you doing? Oh hey man, Will's coming in too. Everyone's coming in today. It's the coming in day. I agree with both of those things, even though I don't know who Justin's referring to. I do think Chunky Kong's a bisexual icon, and I think we need to save him because he's not safe right now. Because a few years ago, they had a leaderboard thingy, and... Chunky Kong wasn't on the leaderboard thingy, so that told me they killed him off. Or they have some prison somewhere. Oh yeah, clumsy. You know, is it really war crimes if he's doing it to objectively evil people? Yeah. No, no. I, I disagree. Also, he's got fat titties, so... Can't really call think... it war crimes at that point. Do you think we should, uh... Do you think we should break into Nintendo's HQ and save Chunky Kong? Yeah. I got a gun. We should go into Chunky's... We should go into Nintendo's HQ. CG. Coconut gun. CG. Coconut gun. I don't think that made I, a sound. I think I keep I think. every time I think of that line, I keep thinking of how like one of the like one of the DK rap reps on the Civic Gunner channel just randomly had like a line about the KKK in it for no reason, and I think that rip actually got deleted because of it. Like they eventually were just like, uh, maybe this is going a little too far. Me Mm -hmm. 
I like how Steam gives me the option to like stream games off of the computer to my Steam Deck, and I'm just like, why would I do that when I can just play the games natively on my Steam Deck? Yeah. Because the streaming is going to be objectively worse in quality. Hmm. I think before my therapy tomorrow, I'm going to go get some Sonic because I got half off of a chili dog and I like chili. Kitty dog. Kong. Kitty Kong. Facts. Actually, no. No. Kitty Kong would not be a registered sex offender. He would just be a friend. Yeah, I like Kitty Kong. Uh, probably this naughty in particular. The Kong most likely to be a sex offender would be... Oh yeah, of uh, course, Redneck Kong. Red, yeah, Redneck Kong. Duh. That's why he got cut from J.D. Kong pilot. And also the whole beating his wife thing, but, you know... Oh, Redneck Kong did beat his wife, that's true. Yeah. That's why he got cut from the game. That's why he got cut from Diddy Kong Pilot. But you know who else got cut from Diddy Kong Pilot? Everyone. E. Because it never came out. And so... And became... And became Banjo Pilot instead. The Oh wow, there was actually kind of a complete build of a near complete build of Diddy Kong Pilot, though. Yeah, apparently there was of a lot of the like games Rare was making around that time. Oh wow, it's funny. K Rule's name in that was Kamikaze oh, well. K Rule. I think I can see why that got cancelled. Shoutouts to Zero, the kamikaze squirrel. Who I'm pretty sure never in fact commits suicide in that game. Bullshit ass game. There are actually two complete builds of Banjo- oh, I mean, Diddy Kong Pilot. I like the one build of Banjo Pilot that was just like, super full 3D for no apparent reason. And ran like dog. Isn't Banjo Pilot just garbage in general? I wouldn't say garbage, but it's not great. I never played it before. I would not know anything about it. I don't really have any interest in it either. Maybe I'll come to NSO though. Hot take. I think you shouldn't kill yourself. Yeah, I agree. It's a little silly. I've attempted it twice. Worst feeling ever, after the fact. Those minigames used to give me so much trouble, like, when I was younger. Same. Oh, there he is! Oh my god! Now that right there, this right here is peak character design. Funky Kong. Name like a character did, who is did, cooler sh than sh Funky Kong. Shut up, I'm trying to listen to this. It's a bop. Oh, I do hope he's one of the DLC characters in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. This game would have been way better if those were real guns. E why do they have to scrap the real guns anyway? Cowards. True. I like that line zero doing right now, donkey dude. I had no idea what that meant when I was a kid. Only kind of know what I meant 
what it meant now. I forget which of these have bananas above them. This one does. I think the other one did too. Did I get that already? Are you going for 200 bananas, by the way? Um. Oh, like the golden bananas. Um. Yeah, I'm going for full completion. I don't really see why not. Wow. Anyway, feeling a little rebellious, so. Hey, that's cheating. You're not allowed to do that. I'm calling the police. Something something cheated the game, but not yourself. Or, yeah. Not just the game, but yourself. I'm filing for divorce, too. I am. It's okay, we're married again. Now here's what I want you to do with this, okay? Do not turn in any of the blueprints until you have every single one of them. And then turn them in on the, uh, in like the King K. Rule place. So that way we can watch the best one five times. Now I think I'm gonna turn each of them indiv in individually because I'm a lunatic. So when I was a kid, there was a there was like a how to draw like Nintendo characters book that I had, and he was in it, and they marked him as a villain. Yeah, yeah, I remember like when I played the oh. Wii U version of Donkey Kong sixty four, like I had to like pause for every single one of those mini games because you just do not have enough reaction time yeah I, I actually i think that was when i did my let's play of this i remember like being like how the fuck am i supposed to do this yeah it's like that and like the rabid chase and fungi forest are busted on that version because they were coded with the idea that the frame rate was gonna shit in mind Oh, that's why I had such a hard time with the rabbit race. Yeah. I didn't think it was be- I just was like, I thought the rat. I just thought the rabbit race sucked. Oh yeah, fun fact by the way, um, just do a quick drop. Yeah, so if you see me like crouch before going off a platform, that's why. Um, I think there's one right down here you can get. Yeah, something I actually didn't know until the Wii U version, by the way, is, like, if you hold down Z uh, during this, like, aiming thing, it actually, like, slows down the crosshair movement specific, like, significantly. I did not know that until now. Now I know another secret about this. I guess I should go back and do that DK64 bonus video at some point. Well, yeah. Seven years after the fact of doing the Let's Play. Now you gotta do the psycho, psycho what? Uh, the cyber shell thing and do it like an entire decade afterwards. Yeah, we're, we're gonna do it in, uh, when did I do the Let's Play? Was it 2019? Or was it 2018? I don't remember. But, uh... I was actually I, tempted to go with It Killed a Genre as the stream title, but then I didn't. I'm gonna call it, I, I know for a fact if I ever, if I do that bonus video, it's gonna be DK64 bonus video, it killed a genre. I am. Oh. Just realized there's a banana patch up there. Yeah. Though I think what I'm gonna do is, you know, I might wait for you to move in so that way I can at least have like, you know, so that way I can show the monthly player off as well. I was gonna get my little brother to do that with me, but he we never got around he never came in for that. I remember being like really like strongly against Camcorder Let's Plays back in the day, which is really funny when you look at what my old Let's Plays with the capture card looked like. <laughs> Compressed to absolute shit. Remember that one time we got into a fight with my little brother in the comment section of my YouTube videos because he said I could make a Dazzle LP HD? Yeah. Actual story. That actually I, happened. I, 
Well, I wouldn't call it a fight, but I do remember being, like, weirdly hostile about it. Yeah, fucking 14-year-old me was such a little shit. <laughs> to be fair, he was wrong. Yeah. And my little brother could be stubborn about that kind of stuff, too. Yeah. Back then, anyway. And nowadays, like, god damn, like, his recording quality on everything is great. It's well, just he doesn't have motivation to make YouTube videos. And I, I was just, like, going through, like, a few videos he made a few months ago, and I'm just like, dude, what the fuck? Why aren't you doing more stuff on this? Like, literally, he, like, made this tutorial video. A game I don't know anything about. I don't even know what the game was. But, like, it wasn't clickbait or anything like that. It was a really well-made tutorial. And I was just like... <laughs> this is the same guy Just replace the internal battery on your ROM file. Idiot. I used to do that. <laughs> I'm actually curious, like, do there exist, like, Game Boy Advance emulators that have the, like, internal battery stuff, like, the time stuff working on, like, the Game Boy Advance Pokemon games? I'm pretty sure Visual Boy never got updated to it, but I wonder if MGBA did. I think it did. Oh, yeah, these guys are gonna be a little annoying to take on until we get up oh, hello until we get like a move tiny gets in the next world are you going oh, for hey there's another one what are you going for every single banana coin ever in the game uh well i love myself so no okay i'm glad you finally learned to love yourself I'm the greatest person in the entire world. E. That's why I undivorced you. Hey, wanna get divorced again? E. I can wear the wedding dress. Oh, did I not get the other word? You wanna wear it this time. You can wear it this time if you want. Eh. On second thought, I think it's too much work. Fair. We could just go. There we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, I'm... I've thought about, like, just training some practice sessions in Guilty Gear, but... Yeah, I'm down. I just... I actually have... Really... I have Guilty Gear, like, on my PC, finally. Because I just got that installed. I haven't booted it yet, though. It's my favorite fighting game of all time. Yeah. It's funny, though, because, like, before I played Strive, like... I think oh, the kind of like right. really... I wasn't too into fighting games, and now a lot of my friends are coming over tomorrow night because they're all, like, interested in watching me play a fighting game. <laughs> fighting game? E. Sex joke? Sex joke. Why is that sex joke funny? <laughs> I love that image. It's so stupid, but it it's funny to me. Just You know what's funny is this level's a lot shorter than I it's a lot smaller than I remember it being as a kid. Yeah. Like you remember them being huge, but you too. Then it's you like, actually go back and play it, and it's like, wow, there's three whole rooms. Yeah. I guess, guess that's like what, like, you know, being an adult does to you. It makes everything small. I guess I missed some bananas somewhere. I once saw a banana. <laughs> you know what's crazy to think about is like... I like I like this game because it's fast like my... Or sorry, I don't like Sonic because he's fast like my dad when he chases me with the belts. 
Number four hasn't been stepped on before. That's so safe. I feel like there was some in a tree. God, Mean First was the best social media ever. Why the, didn't the, Nintendo... the Switch would be the greatest console in history if Miiverse still existed. Oh my god, I, I I want Miiverse back so badly. We do not know how good we had it back then. <laughs> that was the best thing about the Wii U. I will I will die on that hill. Yeah. That's one cage right there. I assume probably just because like I don't know, they didn't want to pay people to moderate it. That's true. Yeah. And a bunch of people on the website were just it was it was it was basically a social media made for two year olds. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong with that? God. My only regret is I never got banned from Miiverse. Had a few posts removed though. Like that one chick who got me one of my posts removed because I talked about being married at the age of 12. <laughs> Hell yeah. And she was just like, how are you married at the age of 12? And I'm just like, my wife left what, me. What can I say? <laughs> Bitches said, love the dick. He, they love my girl cut. Man. Don't forget to grab the coin. We have many mental illnesses. Oh yeah. Why was PM a bannable phrase? I'm, I'm curious. Uh, cause, I... cause it stands for Project M. Oh. That's fucking stupid. Yeah. Cause PM could also stand for private message, personal monkey. Piss mason. Piss mason. Poop monster. Yeah. Oh yeah, there's nothing in here. Penis masturbation. I think it's really funny that Chunky's objective for that is the only one that has like extra steps to it beyond. What's that? It's a little fairy. Can I become a little fairy? Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. Imagine if Meaver sticked around until sticked around. Imagine if Meaver stuck around until the modern age and replaced TikTok in the public conscience. That'd be funny. That'd be fucked up, but also funny and based. Meaver is the funniest thing ever created. I will die on that hill. I love Meaver so much. What Greenbill characters have plushes anyway? Does Cagliostra have a plush? Because if she does, I'm buying a Cagliostra plush. She better. She better. I like her. She's precious. She's my friend. She's precious and technically transgender up. Just neat. I'm so looking forward to getting the Bridget plushes, though. And yeah. then I'm gonna mail you the Bridget plush, and you're gonna be like, "Well, yeah. I have a Bridget plush." I got that Papa Parade figure of Bridget, like pre-ordered. I'm gonna get one too. Yeah. Unless you secretly order me one, in which case, then I won't. Uh, I have not. I. I think there might have been like a limit on Good Smile Store. That and also, like, I don't want to spend too much money if I can help yeah, it. Yeah, no, that's fair, that's fair. Especially oh, not that what? far in advance, because it's not, like, dropping until August or somewhere there's about. Yeah. I think the Bridget Plus, I said June, but I don't know. I think they said they're not going to be here until August. I, I'm not sure exactly when those are going to be here. <laughs> it's still a Cagliostro Plush. Remember that time you got me a Saki plush? Damn it. And I hugged a Saki plush. 
And then you yeah. got me a one it, plus. I remember that because there was a whole ordeal because I had accidentally had it sent to my place at first and then was like, eh, you know what, I'm not going to bother contacting the seller. Why am I so bad at this? I'm not going to bother contacting the seller. I'll just like get it mailed over. And, and then, then yeah, and then my dad like kept refusing to take me to the post office and I don't have my own license and he refuses to help me get one. I think he's afraid of you moving out. Maybe. But it's inevitable, because I'm a kidnap you if I have to. I mean, the thing is, until I get a license, he has to drive me to work, so... And he That's always cool. complains about doing it, but then, like... Every time I'm like, hey, can we, like, go out and, like, practice driving or, like, whatever? He's just like, uh, maybe later... I'm gonna try to get my license at some point soon as well. Well, not yeah. the license, just try to get a car. I already have a license. You're missing one. Yeah. Well, no, I'm I'm missing oh, no, turning not. into the blueprints. Though I'm missing some I'm missing some bananas, so I need to find those somewhere. Uh, where is a set of Donkey Kong bananas I might be missing? But then once you get a car, you're gonna come, you're gonna pack your stuff into the back of your car. And then you're gonna drive to Austin, and then we're gonna... Oh, here's a... Well, here's a five set. So there's one more five set. I always feel like the five set is the one I'm missing. I, I never go for all the bananas in this game. I used to not, but I don't know. It's not that hard to find the rest of them, and... That's you know. Just a nice little thing to do. Hero. If it gets to the point where I'm just like pixel hunting or whatever to find them, or I don't know, you get what I mean. But like if it gets to the point where I'm spending way too long trying to find the last set, I'll probably not worry about it. But I do want to try to get like e. as close to full completion as I can. That's fair. Not counting the coins because fuck that. E. What about the coconut guns? Do you want to get all the coconut guns in the game? I'm walking down to Austin right now to give you a nuggie. Okay. I'm gonna give you a little hug when you get here, though, okay? That's fair. <laughs> Maybe a little smooch on the cheek. Yeah. <laughs> Where is the last... Oh, maybe it's the one that's behind the, um... The Rambi box? You got that one. I did? I think Where so. Where is it then? That's weird. Is there one in the trees that I didn't get? Maybe. Yeah, I want to say the trees. One of the trees. Find the trees, though. Check the tree near Donkey Kong's thingy. Oh. There isn't one. I can't believe you unlocked Dildo Kong. Why not? Do you think Diddy Kong will be playable in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Yeah. Honestly, I think of all the characters who have yet to be... who can return... And by the way, they're counting tour characters as well as, like, returning characters, so, like, of all the characters, I think Diddy Kong has the highest chance. Diddy and Polly. So based on a leak we have, it looks like all the Tor characters are coming, so that might be neat. Did I forget to get a patch up here? No? Nope. Where is the last patch I'm missing? Maybe it's oh, in that whoa. tree right there? Maybe. Let's Heck, see. Is it though? It might be a little bit too far away. No, it's yeah. done here. Jeez. God. I always feel like this is the one set I always missing. Is it in that tree? Yeah, that's what I'm checking. Let's see. Here it is, okay. Yeah, yeah, we found it. 
I heard the monkey thing. Made a funny monkey noise. Funny monkey. Oh. Perfect. I like how that three pad just warps you to like the other corner of this room. Yeah. I mean, this isn't like a big level, so. Nah. It's basically just minor conveniences. <coughs> hmm. Excuse me. Not even like an inconvenience. Uh, like, I heard you wrong. That you said it's minor conveniences. Yeah, minor conveniences. In not inconveniences. I'm a dumb. Oh, let's wait to go here until we uh, get Diddy's thingamadodos. What's a thingamadodo? You know, a thingamadodo. Well, yeah. Yeah, I also remember, like, liking the swimming in this game a lot more than the swimming in Banjo, if that makes any sense. Oh, I feel like the swimming in this game is way more fluid. I yeah. feel like this is probably the best swimming on the N64, if I'm being honest. Probably. Number one, I think where this game kind of does really well is that, number one, there's not, like, you know... They don't time you underwater. I don't know if that made any sense. Girl, are you laughing our talk production because you make me feel like number one, Jasper Jet Jasper Bat Jr. Yeah. I like when I'm trying to say something and then I just immediately fuck it up and then now it's not funny anymore. Also it wasn't funny to begin with. I did a let's play of this game one time. I miss video games. I miss my mom. Mm. Alright, um... I think we should have enough to go to the, um... The gun store. And buy a gun. I like guns. I, I was once a very powerful gun. For three pennies. That looks like your dad's at the door. And that's why you're gonna move out. Yeah. I don't know how many Let's Play parts I had to scrap because I would put a Do Not Disturb sign up on my door at my old place, and my former roommate would still come to my door being like, hey, uh, I'm lonely right now. God. I'm oh my like god. I would totally do that. And I would just spend the entire interview just, like, basically taking the piss out of them. <laughs> I think it would be fun. No, yeah, I mean, hey, uh, no, if you came to my door and told me you were feeling God. lonely, I'd give you a little hug. Well, I, I'm pretty sure we hadn't met at the time, but I remember, like, ages ago, like, one of the first attempts I did at doing a Banjo-Kazooie Let's Play back in the day, um... The first two parts, throughout most of it, one of my brothers was fucking melting down in the background, just screaming his fucking head off the entire time. I remember when I did Let's Play? I remember, like... I remember someone like left a comment on the video just saying like, what the fuck is his problem? Then you said... And, uh... you know, to be fair, I can't like be too mad at said brother in this case because yeah. you know, no, I know he does know have he he has some mental handicaps that you know yeah. it, it's understandable in his case yeah. but also it's really funny to think about that happening because I was, I was it's just funny like... to think about a fucking panda kazooie video just I having was, someone like... screaming in the background <laughs> I love, like, all the Eric videos we did when your brother was, like, screaming in the background because it makes it... because it makes it sound... It, it just kind of adds to the atmosphere, if you ask me. Yeah, the atmosphere of, like, insane narcissist who lives in a public library that's been abandoned. You know, I could imagine some, like, crazy homeless guy going in there and doing that. Yeah, and, like, having a legion of people he's kidnapped. 
Yeah. Like forced to live in the abandoned library. Was it ever confirmed as to why Eric kidnapped all those people? No. What's your head cannon in it? I think he had to use a bathroom. I like how like three of Lanky's like objectives are in that area. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah yeah yeah. Where am I even going? You're going to the beam. Let's play Earthbound, I hate my family. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna As... that. No, no, she's actually quoting like the title of an actual video. Wait, really? I am I'm interested. Yeah, in it was by someone called like Dark Samus something or other. It was like a bunch of numbers. Why'd they hate their family? I don't remember. I just remember that video title. And Shay linking it to me. Let's play Earthbound Part 1, I Hate My Family. <laughs> no, it, it, it was some ways into the Let's Play. I don't remember what video? part it was. Yeah, was it was it a like... real video. Dang. Well, I know it was a real video, but like... I, I think like, it was like a British kid. Was, it wasn't shitpost, I'm guessing. I'm it like, wasn't a shitpost. Damn, that's funny. Oh my god, that is funny. I love that. Oh yeah, fun little fact about... Oh, where was the... Fun little fact about the swimming in this game, by the way. If you're like on the surface, you can go a little faster by holding down B. The game never explains this to you, but it's a... Cool little bit of hidden tech that... Should have been explained to you from the get, but it wasn't. That's banana number one with Dildo Kong. I hope Dixie uh, Kong they're part dolphin. Duh, idiot. I hope Dixie Kong also gets into Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. What is Dixie Kong peed? That'd be so wacky, tabacky. You know, I just realized, did we go that whole Lunar Stream series without a single piss joke? Maybe? That's fucked up. I need to stream Lunar again just so we can make a piss joke and then abandon the game forever. E. Did I get did you the ever, did, you, did you ever play it again after the end of the stream or...? Not yet. I'm gonna go through it at the end at some point when I've, like, beat some of the other games. That's fair. I, I think while waiting for, like, you know, Trails to are coming out, I'm just gonna, like, kind of focus on, like... Cleaning up some games I meant to clean up earlier. In what? Cleaning up some games. No, like... uh, what Nate said in the chat. Oh. What's that, Tuka? Okay? Or Natoj? I don't know, that looks like. It looks like the abbreviation of some kind of like anime. I was gonna go through and like do all of uh. and like clean up Neon White today as well, but. Then I learned what the heaven and hell rushes were, and I'm like, <laughs> never mind. Oh, yeah. So I remember you saying you thought they were like speed runs from like the perfect from like the devs and stuff. Nope. What? This, like what the heaven and hell rushes were? I never said anything like that. There's dev times, but yeah, but that's not like anything like that. It's like yeah, I I, I have no it. idea what you're talking about when you say the heaven and hell rushes. Okay, so there's like some features after you beat the game you unlock these you unlock the heaven and hell rushes and basically what the heaven rush is what basically they are is the heaven the, the hell the heaven rushes i mean i guess it's kind of doable you have to go through every level of the game in one setting fucked up and then the hell rushes are you have to go through every level of the game without dying fucked up yeah <laughs> yeah i'm like yeah i'm not doing that never mind And I guess, like, you know, the red, violet, and yellow hell, rush, hell rushes would be doable, I imagine, but there's no way in hell I'm doing the white and Mickey. Neon White is such a good game. Yeah, it is, though. It is really good. Might make a good stream game when it's old enough that I can justify it and still streaming it under retro. It'll give you a chance to beat the live times. Well, yeah.
I'm gonna stream Elden Ring under Retro. It's like a year old at this point. It counts. I'm gonna stream, uh... I'm gonna stream Xenoblade Chronicles 3 under Retro. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stream Fire Emblem Engage under Retro. It's a little over a month old. It, it's, it counts. You should finish the final mission of Engage. I should. Like, you were, like, literally on the last mission of that game, if I'm not mistaken. I was, like, three games, or not three games, what? I was, like, three missions away, yeah. Wait, wow, Darren actually nuts, stream... nuts. Did Darren actually stream Metal Gear Solid 5 on uh, No, um, so what Darren did back when Met Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain came out was he did a Twitch stream that was labeled as him playing Metal Gear Solid 5 and was like under the Metal Gear Solid 5 category, but it was just him eating chips. <laughs> and he got banned for it. What the fuck? That's illegal. Not, not him eating chips. Fucking but... legend. Oh yeah, banana. Still, the point is he wasn't playing the fucking game. <laughs> that was the funniest thing in the world. <laughs> Did he say? <laughs> God, I love Darren. It's like the most Darren thing I've ever fucking heard in my life. God. Fuck. God, I don't, I don't talk about it enough, but Darren's like genuinely one of the funniest people I know. <laughs> exactly. Our fucking pussy. <laughs> Jesus. Liz dying, by the way. Okay, I'll come back to light tomorrow or morning. <sighs> I like this little area you can't get to with anyone but Diddy. I always like these little areas, and this is why, for those oh, who I are wanna, always I wanna, like... I wanna see if I can... Up, up, up. Areas oh, like this on. is why the tag barrels, why you can't just switch characters on the fly. Man. I know there's a way to, like, get onto that platform without shooting the yeah. thingo. I want to see if I can do it. E. Uh. I heard the story before, but it's still the funniest shit every time I hear it. <laughs> oh no, Darren, I'm going to have to... How dare you make a Lil Jip on Twitch.television? Oh, that's funny. To be fair, I probably would not enjoy that stream because I do not like watching other people eat. Wow. Well, yeah. In fact, I think watching other people eat is one okay, of the Okay, yeah, I think that's enough attempts at that. In fact, if a streamer starts eating when I'm watching them, I tend to just kind of leave the stream. I'm not going to lie there. Wow. Well, yeah. I bet you can imagine my least favorite genre of YouTube video is. Torture porn. Yeah. Animated like... Atrocities, number 40. Top 10 worst Squidward torture porns. Shoot. That's an all-time classic. I think my favorite bad Mr. Enter video is just, like, still that... Fucking My Little Pony episode review where he missed the point of the episode entirely and complained about character assassination. Who was assassinated in this video? Uh, oh shit, it's a banana. Flutters, hi. Oh no. Was it because she was shy? No, it was because she was mean for a little bit, even though that was the point of the episode, was she was getting too mean. Oh no, but Fluttershy's supposed to be a sweetie. Man. 
One of my favorites of his was like how he said, it's like that one where like Eddie, Ed and Eddie, like that one where Eddie finds the phone and he says that episode's bad. Wait. And I'm all like, no, that episode is not bad. Oh yeah, uh, let, did I ever tell you about the one guy I knew who like, he was like on a Banjo-Kazooie forum I used to go on and um, kind of a weird like little awkward guy. Nobody really liked him, but I kind of befriended him for some reason. And um, one day he's like, hey, do you want to do like a My Little Pony roleplay with me? And I'm like, sure. And for the first little bit, it's just this nice little adventure story where, you know, nothing really all that eventful happens. Um, and then it becomes the ponies are fucking each other. Um, sort of. So, he spent, like, most of that fucking thing, uh, his character just fucking Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy at the same time. Right. And I'm not even, like, registering how creepy this is at the time. I just ask him, like, hey, wh why are you doing that? And also, how are you doing that? And he's yeah. just like... Oh, I grew a second dick. Except he didn't say he grew a second dick. He said he doubled his dong. And apparently that's what he meant by that. Oh, I probably should have gotten all the... the whatchamacallits first in there. You can still get all the whatchamacallits first in there. Well... I just say that because the, um... That switch I did to make the things go slower is actually on a timer. Yeah, no. I think I failed it a few times in my Let's Play. I don't know, I was there kind of go. excited about cutting things out, though, in my Let's Plays. It's funny, under my original YouTube channel, I would have never cut anything out. And, like, how I am now is... Oh, if it's excess, it doesn't need to be needed, I will go through and remove it. What changed? What if cutting things out peed? That'd be so wacky to backy. Oh, I have not touched- <laughs> Oh god, I- I actually didn't know that, but- <laughs> Oh my god. PD1 that, that does not surprise me to find out. Fucking Mr. Enter. Wait, he shaves with scissors? Oh, that sounds, like, painful. What the fuck? What the fuck's wrong with him? A lot, but, you know. I'm trying to think, like, um... I think my no. favorite, like... One of that the means... funniest things about Mr. Enter to me is just the whole growing around thing. Because he saw this, like, quote-unquote pilot. It was just a short, actually. But he thought it was a pilot because he thinks every, like, short incubator was, like, supposed to be, like, actual shows. Or yeah. pilots for actual shows. Um, But he saw a short that was just, like, hey, let's... What if, like, all the adults were kids and all the kids were adults? But he, like... He didn't realize that was just supposed to be a silly little joke premise. And he thought, the premise is great for a full series. And then he just made that a full series. And tried to, like, rationalize it in the lore and just made the most nightmarish fucking dystopia imaginable. Animated atrocities growing around. God, yeah. I could imagine him making ad admirable animations on uh, on going around because he's so full of himself. God. Well, see, for that to happen, he would have to ever actually end up making growing around, which he's never gonna fucking do. That's true. God, you know what we it. should do, though, is if he ever does make growing around, we should just watch the first. Send them make a video titled Animated Atrocities Growing Our Ass. God. I, I, I might do that, actually. <laughs> when he would flag it for copyright. Yeah. I could 100% see him doing that. It would be like...
You did it. You got the medal. I'm still Save. missing. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember what I'm missing that from. Did isn't I get there the... way to... Yeah, I did. Okay. I was gonna say, isn't there a way to get Diddy Kong up into that thing right over there? Up into like, the what? Like the air. It's like a challenge over there you do with Lanky Kong. Isn't there like a way to get Diddy and Tiny up there as well? I don't think an intended one, but yeah. You know how like Mr. Inner would like always like complain about fair what the use, fuck? No, I okay, you two you dumbasses. Is, is this supposed to be funny? Is this supposed to be a joke? Are we supposed to laugh at Angel bitch slapping Fluttershy? Whichever one of you two dumbasses wrote this, please never write again. Because that wasn't slapstick. That was domestic violence. By the way, here's this person's Twitter handle so you can go harass them. <laughs> God. Remember when he made that stupid ass comment about like turning red and needing more 9-11 references or whatever? And then the internet made fun of him and he's like, Wow, you're making fun of this but not these other shitty things I've done? <laughs> like, okay, cool. Cool, now you're pointing out other shitty things you've done. Let's make fun of him for the shitty other shitty things he's done as well. That's that's a fun thing to do. I like making fun of people for being shit. Another one of my favorite Mr. Enter moments is when he, like, made that video on that Simpsons episode, Homer Batman, completely missed the point of the episode and just kept, like, using it as a soapbox to talk about, hey, sometimes people make false rape accusations and that's bad, because sometimes they'll be like, eh, bah, 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 bah. and then he's like, I would rather be... I would rather be raped than be ac falsely accused of rape and like, no, bro, you wouldn't. Shut up. Like, no, he really would rather. I, I would hundred percent would rather be accused. The most no brain cells man in the goddamn yeah. world. I would prefer neither happen, but I one hundred percent do not want to be raped. Yeah. I mean, I also don't want to be accused of rape. But, you know. Yeah. I'd rather be accused of murder, personally. E. I mean, it doesn't help that I once almost was. Yeah. I committed happened. murder. Made me. I didn't I actually, but... I didn't actually, but what if I did? Actually, I was almost murdered once as well, so that, that could happen, but... Doesn't yeah. the, the Mr. Enter looks like he doesn't leave the house either, and... Yeah, that fits with him being him. <laughs> it sure fucking does. Why would you shave what? with fucking scissors? That sounds... So yeah, like, fucking painful. Like, I get using scissors to like trim, but don't, yeah. don't fucking shave with them. What the fuck? Oh my god, what the fuck is wrong with him? I'm sorry. Shaving with scissors sounds like something like. It sounds like something my brother would do, honestly. Yeah. Uh, Mr. Enter claims to be an aromantic asexual, but that might just be code for I I don't get any bitches and don't want to admit it. Where's the last few? There's someone to start a level. Oh, right, 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 right. And I think there's some underwater, maybe? I don't know. There is... I always feel like I'm missing five Diddy Bananas on this level. Unless there's ten at the start of the level, then you did it, and I'm proud of you. Animated Atrocities number... I don't even remember what number it was, but top ten Patrick's a prick episodes. The one where Patrick's parents come to visit. And then it turns out they're not even Patrick's parents. Mr. Enter is such a funny guy for all the wrong reasons. I like how before he hired an editor, all of his videos, like, 
he would cut in the middle of sentences. Like, not... Like... It just not notice. Yeah. Like... It's not even like he just cuts a little early. He, like... He does it all in one take, has no breaks between takes. And, like... I could never do that. He'll cut a video... To, like, he'll cut the take to splice in a clip. But he'll yeah. cut, like, at the start of the next voice clip. What's supposed to be the next voice clip. I would check underwater again. Probably, yeah. That's probably where I'm missing something. Either that or there's, like, a balloon somewhere. Oops, wrong button. Well, it can't be a balloon because there's only five bananas left. Huh? Oh. When did I get the other patch? Well, whenever you were at, went to the start of the level. Oh, do I? <laughs> You're silly. Yeah. I'm very confused. Oh, boy. I remember, like... I remember, like, my f a few of my f online friends from a few years ago, who I don't really talk to anymore. Um, I don't talk to at all, actually. But, like, I remember, like, they, uh... Like, uh... Like, one time they were, like, doing, like, some PS3 stuff with some friends, and, like... And, like, one of the friends I had was trying to plug, like, an Xbox 360 mic into the PS3 controller and couldn't figure out how to get it plugged into there. Could I leave the PS3 just use generic microphones, though? I think so. Yeah, where are they? Fun fact, like, for the longest time, like, I would just use a Rock Band mic for recording microphones. Recording microphones. Recording the geos. Um. I actually only, like, switched out of that, like, late 2020. Like, midway through the ukulele Let's Play I did ages ago. Wait, that was also recorded on a Rock Band mic? The first half of that was, roughly. Uh, near the end, I switched to a... To like the mic I'm currently using now, which for those that don't know is like a Razer Siren X. Because I've been using Blue Snowball. I, for all six Let's Plays on my adhesive play pole channel, I used a uh, blue, I used the blue same Blue Snowball I'm using right now. Yeah. So a friend gifted me the Blue Snowball because remember like how like I kind of did some like small streams before going back to Let's Playing for a bit. Um. There was one guy who came into the stream and he was all like, What kind of mic do you have? And I'm all like, I don't know, I just got it a few years ago. Hey, wait. Look at this guy real quick. Look at that tree. I think I saw something weird. What? This might be weird. I think I saw something that's out of bounds that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> the other tree. Like, so the tree you're in before. And then just kind of look. I think I saw something that, I'm like, is that something? Did I just discover something out of bounds that's not supposed to be there? Worth mentioning for those who haven't, like, figured by now, uh, Liv has a little bit of a delay. Because she's obviously not in the same room as me. Did you yeah. see anything? It was with the other tree. So, like, kind of look, like, towards, like, the out-of-bounds area, like, facing, I want to say, towards the exit of this area? Kind of maybe more I don't south know. West. Actually, I don't kind know. of think that maybe there was something in... Oh yeah, the fucking hey you Pikachu mic. I had like a horror story mailing one of those to Basha. No, like, cause Shay like actually used a hey you Pikachu mic for the longest time. Yeah. I would say maybe in here, but I don't know. God. I wonder which of us had the most scuffed mic. Actually, it would, it would have to be the Hey You Pikachu mic because it's a fucking Hey You Pikachu mic. Um, in my Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts Let's Play, the first one on my Expert 360 channel, I, I actually. I mean, I mean that's a camcorder. That doesn't count. I used a Rock Band mic for that as well. 
How? I hooked it up to my computer. Did you have like a webcam or something that didn't have like yeah. a? Okay. Oh, it did, but I did, but. Uh... I, mean, I don't know. The Rock Band mic actually sounds surprisingly nice, considering you know. Yeah. What it is. Very fucking quiet, but. You know, it's it's usable. Yeah, it's a good mic. It's not it's not the best mic. I still definitely prefer what I got now. Yeah, it, it was muffled, but it wasn't the worst. It wasn't the fucking Hagey Pikachu mic. If I could go back in like, time... Like, it deadass sounded better than this, than this one I headset that I YouTube used for channel. the longest time. Well, I wouldn't call it a... Number one, I would not call the YouTube channel Expros 360. And number two, I would just play a bunch of games on emulator. Well, yeah. But, like, for, like, the whole, like, Let's Play thing, I just had my little brother, like, hold God, the mic where, up to my... where is this last patch of bananas? I pretty much just had my little brother hold, like, the mic up to my face while I, while I did the Let's Play. Which is why you could hear him in the background so much in those videos. For, like, the zero of you here who saw them. Yeah. I remember, like, one time he, like, went out of town, like, when I wanted to record a Let's Play part, so I was just, like... Okay, I'm gonna have to do this. And then one my, day, my my favorite username is still, lol. You said the f word. See, I'm gonna go back to 2009. Go back in time to 2009, and I'm gonna claim, lol. You said the f word. How dare you? How 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 could it, how is it evil of me to do that? Check Hello? the front area again. I think I know. I think I have an idea where it could be. Maybe. At the entrance, check up in the trees again. I also remember Unwanted Hipster that you never ended up actually doing anything with. What happened oh, to LOL? Wait, you said, what happened to LOL? You said the fuck word? He, wait, no. Uh, he said it was hacked for a while, but then, like, at some point, it was like, yeah, nah, I, I actually just didn't want it anymore. And you know then what? he saved the world. Do you know why I deleted X Pros 360? Cause it's illegal. I, yeah, I, I pretty much just hate the username if I'm being honest. That's all there is to that. Yeah. Nope. Yeah, it's not in here. Dang. Where is it? I'm, I'm actually confused right now. Yeah, it's like... <laughs> I'm looking it up, okay? Yeah. I'm confused. Donkey Kong? Worth mentioning, I don't generally want people to, like, actually play the game for me, but... Like, if anyone, like... Is it in, like, the... You know, sees me struggling or whatever and has any advice, you know? Totally, okay. Alright, just gonna pass it all the way over to Michigan. <laughs> Let's see. One through five. Did his first bananas? Okay, yep, got those. Alright, six through five. Fifteen. Head to the first cave. You'll see a path going left. Eventually go. Yep, got part, parsec up this controller through, like, the internet. <laughs> Somehow First make that work, despite the fact this is on an actual N64. There is a banana bunch on top of a tree east of the first tag barrel. I think you got that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got the ones that were on tag barrels. Like the last not, set, not on tag I'm barrels, on the on trees in the first area. Of the tree left of the first tag barrel. In the main area, head into a cave to the north. Got those ones. In the cave, eastern side, got those three. 49, in the main area, right at the level. On top of this tree is a banana bunch. Got yeah, that. nah, this is, this is the actual hardware, that's why it's like... Yeah, that's why it looks so pixely. If this was- Oh, what I found it! Fuck! <laughs> it's always in the stupidest locations, too. 
Oh, I'm glad I was doing that. Okay, um, I'm gonna close this game facts guide for now, cause fuck game facts. They know what they did. Hey, remember that one time I was showing you like Me the Animal Crossing New Leaf post I made on Game Facts? Remember Barfy in public one two three? I miss that guy. Hey, we're on the same wavelength. Remember that one time I showed you my Animal Crossing post from the from the Game Facts board? I love Talking this nonsense ass <laughs> like explanation for this. He Remember that time I showed you, like, my Game Facts post about how, like, I was happy that Animal Crossing newly flip boys wear skirts and you called me an egg? Yeah. Do you know why you did that? Because egg. Yee. Yeah. Egg. Uh. Alright, let's get Donkey Kong out. Yeah. I know there's, like, a glitch you can use to, like, skip this, like, sequence here and just go straight into the boss arena by, like... You're not gonna do that until this. Level yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna bother like doing that trick just because it's too much effort. What but I, I did want to mention that it is a thing you can do. What if you want to fight the dot the, the boss's Din Ding Kong? Isn't that? I just said Ding Ding Kong. Ingo Kong. <laughs> that does sound like a kin thing to do. Yeah, we're gonna experience our first boss battle. Yeah, that's true. They do use the, the, the stop and swap fanfare. I remember thinking this boss was really cool as a kid. In retrospect, it's, it's like not really anything special, but being a dumb idiot kid whose only other game that she played was like Crash Bandicoot. You know. Yeah, it's just very cool. Also, I really like the music for this fight. I think that's a big part of the reason why it sticks out with me so much. You wanna hear the funny thing about this boss fight? Spoilers, by the way, for later in the game. Um, Don't spoil always... the game, idiot. There might be people who haven't played this game watching this stream of specifically Donkey Kong 64. Streamed to the Donkey Kong 64 category on Twitch.television. Anyway, so the funny story is I actually found this version of the boss. Shut up! Second version of the Shut boss. Shut up! The spoilers! That's Sorry. illegal! Sorry, you're gonna have to divorce me now? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Alright, uh, Nate, Darren, whoever else is still watching, uh, I'm sorry for the that heinous act of spoiler shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey, for real. This, is, this is no longer a spoiler free stream. <laughs> if you watch this stream, you will henceforth be spoiled on Donkey Kong 64. Yep, I'm gonna spoil everything. Yeah. Like, how was that Don the third Kong hit? Yeah, that was. Like how Donkey yeah. Kong throws up at the end of the game. Hmm. Donkey Kong dies at the end. Yeah, it's really sad, I cry. Also, Snape kills Dumbledore. Yeah. That's for all of you fuckers who... who spoiled, uh... who spoiled, uh... the ending of Alvin and the Chipmunks. The squeakle for me. I like how, like, Snape kills Dumbledore is so ingrained into pop culture as a signal of spoiler culture, or whatever, that I don't even recognize it as an actual spoiler anymore. Nah. 
I remember like like that's the only movie I've even seen of the Harry Potter movies, by the way. <laughs> the only movie in general. That's the only Harry Potter movie I've seen. Dude, we, my dude, we gotta get you movie. watching Coraline. It's the greatest movie ever made. And I just walked right back in there. <laughs> but we watched that last night, sweetie. Oh yeah. Coraline's so good. It is really good. I, I loved that. Now you're gonna show me every movie you've ever loved. Yeah. Let's see, what other movies have, do you love that I've never seen before? I don't know. I have not seen, uh, let's think of movies I, I've I want to say the G.G. Allen documentary, but I actually haven't watched that because I was, like, planning to do it in a group watch with a friend group that I'm no longer in. Yeah. And we never did it. We should watch the Guilty Gear Strive story mode together. Well, yeah. Even though it's like four hours long. We can watch some parts. Yeah. I still have not touched the story mode at all. I remember Cal Forest being fine aside from the one like awful mission at the end. What game is this from, Count Forest? Uh, it's from Battle from Bikini Bottom. It's one of the last levels in the game. I have no- I need to play that still. Yeah, you do. You're gonna make me play it now. Yeah. Someday I might stream that, actually. Cause I do like Battle from Bikini Bottom. No, give it's me an like... excuse to try the Xbox port that I own but haven't really played through yet. Mm. You'll give me an excuse to pee. Yeah. Alright. I'm probably only gonna go for another hour after this, but that should give us some time to do a decent little bit and Angry Aztec. play zone. Yeah, angly Aztec. Why is the Aztec so angry? Maybe his wife did, left him. Did, did you know in the original Japanese version it was actually called Piss the Fuck Off Aztec. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> but that's not possible, Jody. Why? Because Japanese don't piss the fuck off. <laughs> actually, you're wrong. God. What was the... What was it they changed Pissed Fist to in the official translation for Live Love that came out recently? I don't remember. Because I know the fan translation that was circulating for ages translated one of the moves in the, like, far future story as- or not far future, near future story as Pissed Fist. And it, it was an iconic name and I was so sad when I found out they changed it. I don't think they can use the term piss in a rated T game. Actually, they can. Yeah. They used it in the regular show. I don't know, but like, I remember like my dad got mad at me because I said I was pissed off one time. It's like a very minor slur, not slur, swear on the level of like damn or crap. Well, crap's not really a swear out here, but you know. Apparently it isn't like the UK for some reason, because they're not people. That's racist. We should talk to Wrinkly Kong just one time. She's dead. Yeah. Remember, like when I was a kid, I one time managed to glitch into the Wrinkly Kong door. Oh well, yeah. And like, I remember like I was all like, "Sweet, I can go into a secret level now." But no, I'm just stuck behind a door and I can't do anything. <laughs> I was so mad. God. I think, like... When I was a kid, I didn't actually know what swear words were, but I found out about the concept of swear words from Spongebob, and because of that, I thought it was just making dolphin noises. <laughs> I remember the first time I saw that episode, I, I was, like, just downstairs in my basement. <laughs> Watching that episode, and this was when I lived in New York, by the way. Um, so, for those of you wondering about the basement, and I went upstairs and started making dolphin noises in my mom's face, and she was just like, "What are you doing?" I'm just like, 
I'm trying to say a bad word. And she's all like, that's not a bad word. <laughs> I think I had a similar experience with my mom, but instead of saying that's not a bad word, she's just like, oh, carry on then. <laughs> I mean, yeah, piss is more offensive than crap. Crap is basically like saying stupid. I've always wondered what swear word they're actually saying in the SpongeBob episode. Uh, I have. I think Tom Kenny said at one point they weren't saying actual swears underneath that. They were just making up words. Didn't Retro Bird say bullshit in the video once? Maybe. I don't watch enough Retro Bird to know. I know, that probably makes me a wall. He is the Retro Bird, yeah. And he's talking, talking about video games. He is the Retro Bird, oh yes. And he hopes that you liked what he had to say. I, that doesn't rhyme. <laughs> Yeah, it does. He rhymes games with say. What? That doesn't... <laughs> oh, well, let me tell you what I about have to say. I'm, I'm just very fucking... <laughs> that, 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 that rhyme. <laughs> but like, you know... That, that does not... But games does not rhyme with say. Yeah, it does. No. In what universe does games rhyme with say? A and aims. Wow. <laughs> what the fuck? Brain said crap, how dare he? Oh no. I have to I'm gonna have to go out and call the the, 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 the the hospital. Call the jail. Yeah, I'm gonna have to call the No, I'm gonna call the hospital and make sure he didn't break my Brayden. The com the combination hospital and jail. Hey, which, da, uh, which beetle da, race do you da, think is worth? Da, 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 da. What beetle race do you think is worse? I remember, like, back in the day, like, every Let's Play of Donkey Kong 64 always made, like, the same three jokes about candy. I don't know. Was it was it my was it my let's was it the joke I made on Meverse that one time that got me suspended? Maybe. Not suspended, but banned. Extra melons. Oh shit! Yacht Club announced. Get, get it? You get it? You get it? Get it? It get it? It get it? It it means boobs. Laugh. <laughs> Ha 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 You want a hug later? Maybe. Yeah. I remember when Darren posted a shit post video just pretending he bought a game from DK Oldies and someone like posted being like Hey, uh, you know you got ripped off, right? Like, you know, this is a shit post video, right? What's DK Oli's? Uh, it is a online retailer that sells like old video games. Uh, they're kind of famous for being like very overpriced and also like not very good quality. But they have like a big social media presence, where like basically just Darren watches a lot of their videos where. The guy that runs it just like packages an order for someone and as a little bonus throws in like some cheap bullshit that nobody wants. Like pickle rick stickers. It's like John Smith, I hope you like your game. I know. Who's John Smith? I don't know. That's just the first name that came to mind. That sounds like a really boring and very generic username. I hope you can forgive me for thinking that. Place an art place an order under DK Oldies under the name Eric Chin. 
What if I did it under Eric Hitlin? I mean, see, the joke is that Eric Chin sounds kind of like Erection. <laughs> What's your thoughts on the character from the World Series, Eric Hitlin? I think he's evil. Yeah. He's also the funnest character I voice, though. I'm not gonna lie there. I oh, am. Yeah. Every time I do do a video with him, it's just always the funnest thing ever. Like Toby is definitely the character that's most fun for me to voice, like also to play. But yeah, he also hurts my throat. That's valid. And like, I don't want him to like overstay his welcome. If that makes any sense. So he's also not like. I've done not that many videos with him, considering he's my favorite character to take the role of. Honestly, the reason I kind of slowed down on Eric videos is because of that. It's because I feel like I do way too much with him. I felt like I was doing a lot with him anyway. It's not so much that I feel like I do too much with him, it's that I don't want to do too much with him. Yeah. This this layout on the C buttons is so weird and nonsensical. By the way, you gotta remember, like, when I first started doing the Eric videos, like, it was so fresh at the time because at that point, like, the only character I really did consistently was Jack. Yeah. And so, like, it was all like, you know, oh, I finally got another character I enjoy voicing. Yeah, Jack was fun to voice, but then, like, you know, I didn't feel like Jimmy T was that fun to do. I didn't feel like Ronald was all that fun, to be honest. And Connor was just, like, the most boring piece of shit I ever made. I am. I think we can get another move for Diddy here, right? Me. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the the, the 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 barrels, the jet barrel pack. Yeah, he can fly through the sky with his jet packs on. And I'm totally out of beat, so I'm gonna stop singing now. <laughs> DK, Donkey Kong. What if Donkey Kong peed? Who's the highest? What if Donkey Kong urinated in the toilet? <sighs> Excuse me. What if Donkey Kong 64 killed a genre? I can't believe Donkey Kong 64 would do that. I forget, do you guys still have access to the Stupid Man what, what channel, or is that one of the ones that we lost the credentials for? I think Stupid Man what, what was lost. Damn. I remember what Darren told me, because he had to make, like, another channel for Steven. I mean... Do you want to hear the sad thing, Jody? I lost the credentials to Live a Live, my, my Twitter account. Oh no... Was that they lost the credentials? Is that the two-factor authentication won't work anymore? I oh, am. Yeah. If I could, I what I might want to try to do is get on my old desktop because I still I'm still logged in on that desktop there. I mean, I assume that the um that the two-factor authentication like you're talking about like the thing that like Musk disabled, right? Yeah. Yeah, I assume that wouldn't be necessary anymore. Why? Why did he think that was a good idea? Like, well, it's because... Uh, because he's stupid. Yeah. Like, did you see what happened with him recently? Where he, like, on Twitter publicly disclosed a former employee's disability? Uh, act... Like, actively, like, acted like he was faking it, and then just stated outright that that's why he fired him? Oh, well, he's getting sued now. You know, the thing that's illegal to do. He's getting fired now. He's getting, he's not getting, he's getting sued now. He's gonna yeah, get and then like, sued. And then, like, blatantly, like, a lawyer, like, looked at him and was like, Dude, you can't fucking do this, you idiot. And then he's like, uh, uh, well, actually, we, uh, we had a conversation, uh, 
in uh, direct messages, and uh, he's considering coming back to Twitter. Uh, please don't sue me. I would, I would not come back, and I would sue. Yeah, I would sue. He's, he would get, like he would get actually what the fuck. Yeah. Yeah, he's a fucking idiot. Oh boy. How he long is, do you think he's he is, the website? He is stupid on a somewhat almost impressive degree. Well, he's a narcissist, you know, and most narcissists are yeah. fucking stupid. Like, he is shockingly dumb. Yeah. Oh, you know, he has no coding knowledge but wants to run the whole coding department himself? Dude. This is a multi-billion dollar company. Shut the fuck up. I like how the site's fucking broken, like, every other week since yeah. he took over. Yeah. That's being generous. Oh, you know, actually someone, like, pointed out all the things he fucking did. I'm gonna see if I can pull that up real quick, yeah? Well, like... I did see that one Twitter thread of, like, all the times that, like... The site broke under him. Yeah. I haven't been active on Twitter the past few days all that much. So like, See, this is what happens when you fire your entire coding department. Here's the past month and a half. Here we go. January 23rd. Error message uh, and tweeting. Elon Musk, who bought and now owns and runs Twitter. February 8th. Down for users globally. February 15th, glitched for users globally. February 18th, issue sending GIFs. It's February 28th, group group chat glitch with kicking. March 1st, timeline not loading. March 6th, content not loading. That's about every week, if you think about it. Yeah. I know, like, most recently, like, for a short little bit of time, the site just, like, barely loaded, and when it did load, it would load without images. And, like, links were broken, so you, they would just send you to, like, a JSON screen. Yeah. And you tried to send me a Bridget, dear. Like a JSON time. error screen. Because I'm weak to Bridgets, and you know I'm weak to Bridgets. Yeah. You oh, I, know for I forgot to do that, um... The snide thing in the last level. Oh well. Turn them in. Yeah, you know, I want. I want. To... I wanted to do one of them just to, like show what it was like, but it's not like it's not like there's anyone in here who hasn't played this game. I've played it seventy billion times. I have played it every day from Donkmas Eve, nineteen ninety one. I remember was a kid hey, like gamers, I... just got a Dazzle DVC 100 for Christmas 2009. Welcome to Let's Play Super Mario Sunshine. Why are we playing Super Mario Sunshine again? Because I just got a Dazzle DVC 100 for Christmas 2009. Wow. I mean, you just... That's the thing, he isn't a person. Yeah, no, I refuse to believe he's a person either. He's... He's just a fucking idiot. <sighs> Jeez. How can someone be that stupid and not be... Well, you know what? No. Because the stupid are usually unaware of how stupid they fucking are. There's like a banana for Diddy in here, right? It's just like how asshole... No, it's for Donkey. No, I mean like a... Like a little set of bananas. I know the main like golden banana in there is for Donkey Kong, but maybe or is no. it is it tiny or like yeah, I don't remember. I'm pretty sure okay. there was a like a set of bananas for Diddy because when I did that like second attempt at a Let's Play after the first one that actually got completed, um, I remember I had like a video like I would I would separate the videos by like Kong. Yeah. Per se. And, um... I... I remember I, having to, like, go back to get a Diddy... A set of Diddy bananas in one of these levels. I think it was, like, a balloon in that area. 
that you could like only get to if you like got in with Donkey first. I attempted to do that for my Let's Play, but then decided that was kind of fucking stupid. <laughs> decided what was kind of fucking stupid? Doing it based by Kong. I mean, that's basically what I'm going to be doing right now. I'm doing it like one Kong at a time. Okay, let me rephrase that. Um, it wasn't like the most, you know, in some levels it's just not like the most, uh, what is it, ideal way to do it, I guess. I mean, I don't see why you'd say that. What? I mean, like, Fungi Forest, for example? I mean, no. Like, because that's what I do every time I play the game. Oh. Dazzle. Well, I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go get a lawyer. Off the door. Where were you? Well, I am. Huh? Huh? What just happened? You're in 64, turn off on you? Um... Hang on. I don't know if Bunky is falling over. Not Bunky. <laughs> Thankfully, DK64 auto saves. I think. Oh, game's it, back. It auto saves mostly. I don't think it saves every individual banana you get. Oh boy. But. Oh. Hmm. Anyway, what were we discussing? Um. It has a manual save that's basically pointless. Yeah. No, you don't have to save at all. I have never used a manual save once in my life. I'm so sad that Bunky fell over, though. Do you think Bunky will forgive you? Maybe. I think Bunky will forgive you. Because Bunky's a friend. Who suffers from abandonment issues. Well, yeah. She should stop suffering from abandonment issues. She can't help it. True. I suffer from abandonment issues as well. So I understand. E. Huh? Um... Did the game crash? Oh my fucking god. Okay, um... This is I weird. <laughs> wow. What I the heck is the Kurt. Now it's not turning on. Um, this is weird. <laughs> okay, well, hopefully, hopefully, I'll have this figured out by the next time I stream. I don't want to mess with this anymore. I'm I'm getting really frustrated. Understandable. Alright, um... I guess I'm just gonna call it there for now. Um... Hopefully I'll have this whole situation resolved pretty soon. Hopefully I don't have to buy another fucking copy of the game. But at the very least, it's not that much if I end up needing to do it. Um... But yeah, uh, nobody is online right now, so we're going to raid Cougar. Mm. Alright, um, so for those of you who aren't aware, uh, Cougar is a very prolific streamer of the uh, nothing category. Um, he's currently doing one of his signature streams of nothing. And yeah. 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 So, uh, give him a warm welcome of typing exclamation point KFC in his chat. Yeah. Alright. See y'all there.
and uh, see y'all for hopefully more Donkey Kong 64 sometime soon. Yeah. Uh, did someone just join like immediately after we got ready to leave? No. <laughs> Not that I know of anyway. Well, anyway, yeah, catch y'all on the flip side.